Good evening and thanks for tuning in to the Property Show. I'm Manisha Natarajan and my expert co-anchor Samir Jasuja, CEO and founder of Prop Equity, that's India's finest real estate data analytics company, joins me on the show as we take you through all that's happening in real estate and answer your questions. This is what we've lined up for you on the show today. If you have a budget of a crore plus, what are the best options for you in the maximum city Mumbai and down south Chennai? And if your pocket is not that large, we have the best options for you in Noida, that's National Capital Region, and the city of Pune, all under 45 lakh rupees. Also, we'll take you to Central India and the city of Indore for smart investment options in under 25 lakh rupees. Yes, you heard me right, under 25 lakh rupees. And a special report on Mumbai's mill land redevelopment. Is it an opportunity lost? All right, let's get down to doing what we do very well and best actually. That's taking your questions and help you take the right decision with your money purchase. That's for property. Siddharth Sadasev is on the phone line with us. Hi, Siddharth. Go ahead. What's your question? Hi, Manisha. Hi. Thank you for taking up my question. And I'm a regular viewer of your show and hence could think of only you for the right suggestion to my query. And hence shot a mail to you while watching one of your shows. Okay. Uh, basically, I'm looking for a ready to move in two BHK flat on Kanakpura Road, Old Metro. My budget is around seven lakhs, which would include the registration, as the cost of property could be between sixty to sixty-five lakhs. What would be your suggestion? All right. So, Kanakpura Road, lots and lots of supply in that area, Sami. Well, uh, the supply is a lot, but at the same time, there's a lot of infrastructure initiatives that are being planned for Kanakpura. It's uh, emerging as a hotspot for future growth. And this location is going to have excellent connectivity because of the nice corridor. Right. So I think uh, these are the big plus points of this area. Uh, today, uh, you know, the presence of nice corridor means easy access to Hosur and Electronic City on one side and Mysore Road, Magdi Road and Tumkur on the other. There are uh, the upcoming Nama Metro is also going to benefit this area substantially. The area will also benefit from the existing social infrastructure on the Banargota Road. So I think this is a very big pluses for this area. And just sharing the key data points with you. Total projects in Kanakpura 11 with respect to all projects getting completed by 2012. Kanakpura Road has about 3,422 units. Inventory overhang is 35 months, so a bit scary on that front. Uh, weighted average price is 3 to 36 rupees a square feet. Price appreciation still with a high inventory has been 21% over the last two and a half years or 8.33 on a compounded analyzed basis. The two project recommendations from our side is Mantri Tranquil by Mantri developers off Kanakpura Road, 4,500 to 5,000 rupees a square feet. Total units are 1, 2, 3, 5 units getting ready in 2012, available in the resale market. And secondly, Purva Highlands by Purvankar projects off Kanakpura, 3,490 rupees a square feet. 2012 is the completion year and this is available directly from the developer. Mm. But 35 months of inventory overhang. Yes, that's, that's, that's a cause a of concern of but uh, even yes. with the high inventory, you know the area has done reasonably okay. Yes, the, that's what so I'm yeah. not able to understand Samir. The price appreciation has been actually much above an average Bangalore market in Kanakpura. So I mean 21% which is almost 10% annualized 11% is very decent price appreciation for I a mean, Bangalore yeah. market. So I would assume that if inventory overhang is very large, then the market wouldn't do so well, but that's not happening. Actually, uh, the price appreciation is with respect to the last two and a half years mm. and the inventory overhang is as we speak today. But even then, there has to be some correlation, isn't so it? There is, there, there is always some correlation already, but you could see, you know, the number of units for a ready market over here are not too high. So one big project getting ready can change the inventory overhang figures quite substantially. There are only about 3,422 odd units. So for so 500 unit apartment complex of units is, is not, not very much. high if you look at for with respect to construction uh, of projects getting ready by 2012. So there is a lot of unsold stock is there with respect to ready projects. All right. So Siddharth, this is what you should be looking at. Two projects that we've shortlisted in the area that you wanted, which is Kanakpura Road. Budget is about 70 lakhs. Mantri Tranquil by Mantri Developers is the first project and this Purva Highlands, uh, Purva Khra Projects is the second one on the list. Okay, we've also got Jitendra on the phone line with us with his next question. Hi Jitendra, go ahead. How can we help you? Yeah, hi ma'am. Um, ma'am, my query is, I'm looking for a 2 BHK house. It should be around 1000 square feet and my budget is around 
40 to 45 lakhs and i'm looking for to uh, like in the both purpose or should be in the safer investment or if i want like in the later point of time i can live with that so i'm looking this house towards like uh, on central noida side where like uh, i i searched it towards genetic uni homes 3 sector 11c in noida so what they offered me is something around 3500 rupees per square foot so it was coming around 37 lakhs to 40 uh, 30, 37 to 40 lakhs but uh, as for the current situation of unitech which i saw like unitech did not even completed the previous project which unitech started around 3 to 4 years back of uni homes so i was like bit confused should i go with unitech or not uh, this is my first thing and uh, it's from the both side uh, is it good for the investment or not or any other options other than unitech if we are not suggesting the unitech to like uh, to be in the safer investment side but okay. i am not looking for towards okay. noida extension or express way because it is still not clear as per my understanding i un- i understand that in fact there have been some agitations again today when it comes to noida extension some farmer clashes so i think that's an area that he wouldn't want to look at but then you know uh, samir even in the questions that we've been getting i would assume that unitech would be at least moving a little bit on their projects but there are these angry mails coming from a lot of viewers who say that you have to look at unitech as a whole analyze we have societies or groups of buyers uh, who are talking to them on completion of the projects but it's not happening and these are projects which have been stuck for a really long time big risk to go with unitech at this point in time especially because it seems that the record is now slipping even further no i would agree with you there i think uh, unitech uh, although a very large development company second largest supposed to be considered to be but is going extremely slow on execution i think they took on too much on their plate and uh, b that they're going through a huge cash issue mm-hmm. so that's showing up on all in each and every project of their across the country especially in the north so i think uh, yes i would recommend you to stay away from unitech at the moment uh, although project location 113 is a new sector with uni homes being the first project over there connectivity is also going to be an issue other than the execution uh, track record of the developer which is not very good at this point in time but with a budget of 40 lakhs you can only afford tier 2 developers in noida uh, so we have recommended some tier 2 developers but at least we feel they have got lesser projects uh, on their plate and they will be able to execute in a much better fashion so you may want to consider them i'll share some key data points with you with respect to noida we've shortlisted sectors from 74 to 79 and 117 to 121 for you 61 on projects here total supply quite a bit 42000 units inventory overhang is still safe 15 odd months a lot of uh, absorption has happened in these areas because of the good price points weighted average price of this area is 4417 rupees a square feet if you were to look at the price appreciation charts uh, 26% over the last two and a half years or 9.31 on a compounded annual return basis recommendations from our side Karmic Greens by Sikta Group sector 78 3775 rupees a square feet getting ready in 2014 available from the developer India's number one news app just got even better download NDTV's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and sudoku NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.